kindergarten students, this is their second or third year of learning English, and they are going to just devour this story. I think this video showcases how a story can give children language, whether they're learning English or not. In this case, they're learning English. And at the beginning, you'll see that there's a lot of unfamiliar words, and they quickly just soak them up to the, to the point where they're able to produce those words. So they go. Literally, in this lesson, you'll see, it's actually over the course of like four days, but you'll see that word is not inside their head, then it goes inside their head, but it's, uh, it's in a place where they can't access it, and then it quickly moves up to where they can produce it in a sentence, or even in speech. And you'll see, oh, here's my bell. Where's my bell? Pretend I got my bell. Ding, ding. That's to remind you that we want to keep it enjoyable and fun. How do we do that? Here's one way. By giving them something that they can relate to. So every single story the child can relate to if you point it out to them. And you'll see here that we're relating the story to our own lives and we're relating the story to other stories and we're relating the story to the world. So it really, if you're in the room and you're doing that, you'll really feel how that story comes alive in their, in their heads and hearts. So, okay. What do you think they're doing? They're testing stuff their lives. lives. Have you done that before? No. Yes. My brother yeah. you did? and me. Where? In the restroom first. Oh. Okay. Why is that boy pulling her hand? To catch, to catch the water play in the jar. Oh, you think he's at the page? I think he's saying... Where's your ladybug watch? Oh, we're reading a bug story and she has a bug watch. This firefly looks like a shooting star, or I think Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. I think so. I think this is gold. That looks like gold. A jar of light. How does he sleep with that light in his face? Bright. It's bright. My Catching fireflies at night. This is. It's it's real. What are they doing with their hands? What do you call it? Making a cup. Cupping. When night came on, the three of us, your poppy too, would creep across the lawn just when the began to star the grass. A ladybug begins a journey over Nathan's... Nathan and Nana and Poppy are sitting in the... Grass. grass. Everyone point, please. The sky is streaked with red. Oh, point to the red in the sky. Yep. 
Back to the words. They're waiting for the night, night to come. Their feet are there. there. What are they waiting for? The night. They are waiting for the night to come. Yes. When night came on, the three of us, your poppy too, would creep across the lawn just for the fireflies began to start asked, the grave. When Daddy lived here, was he little like me? Nathan asked, When Daddy lived here, was he little like me? Nana smiles, He was. We came here when he was almost six. Nana smiles, He was. We came here when he was. We're going to read for ten minutes. Okay. So start with an old story, then read. Fireflies for Nathan. If you don't understand a sentence, what do you do? Good job, Carl. Look at the time. Ready? Begin. Stop. Uh, Who read for ten minutes? Yeah. What happened at the beginning of the story? They left their son with. Okay. Um, what happened after that? They played and they sit okay. in the grass. Yep, we're going to let Lila and Carl answer the next question. When they were sitting in the grass, what did they do? They, the, the lady will sit on the Nathan. Sit on Nana, uh, no, Nathan. Nathan's foot. And then what did Nathan do with his leg? Lila? He shook it, yeah. Page. Oh, Nathan is pulling on Nana's arm. Why? Lila or Carl? How about Lila this time? She's reading to remember. Because he still feels, yeah, and he's having a hard time. Yeah. Okay. And what is he doing with his hands? He's making a little light. He's, look at the special word cups. that they use. Cups. Cups. He cups his hands, so he's making his hands look like a cup. Have you ever drank water from your hands? Yeah. How do you do that? Show us. Like this. Water here and Because you don't have a cup, you make a cup with your hands. When the hotel cup is dirty, we just... Oh, yeah. And now look at the next page. Grandma, my grandfather, keep my when I draw something, keep in the shop. Yeah, my dad, when I was your age, that was 30 years ago, I made things from school, and my dad still has it. I don't see any, do you? Okay, turn the page. Carl's turn. Nathan and Nana and Poppy, Poppy are sitting in the grass. The sky is streaked with red. Streaked. Streaked. Let's circle it. I just squeaked. 
The sky is streaked with red. We can look at the picture and see what that word means. Do it real fast. Streak, yes. Yep. Now let's put some more red streaks on. Who wants to put red streaks on the board? Okay, Dorothy, come on up. And Biol, you can go next. And Lila. Streak the board. Look at those streaks. Carl's going to keep reading. The sky is streaked with red. Everyone say streaked. Streaked. Read again, Carl. Streaked with red. They are there waiting for the night to come. Come. There it are there. Wait, I see one. Bear. bear. Circle it. What does bear mean? Keep bear. the page over like this. We don't do the socks or just nothing. just nothing on the front. Ah, right. No socks, no shoes. No socks, no shoes. Or you can draw a picture of a bare foot. Aha, I will draw. Okay, do it right in the little white part. Lila sees three, I see two. Okay. Star? Do you want to do star? You want to no, circle star? Creep. creep and lawn is star. Yes. Oh, creep. Star. Creep is star? Circle creep. Creep. Creep is what? Star? Circle creep. What does creep mean? Let's read the sentence first. Oh, you already know. Good. Let's read the sentence anyways. When night came on, the three of us, your poppy too, would creep across the lawn just when the fireflies began to star the grass. So creep. Show us, Dorothy. Quiet and slow. Let's all creep across the room. Why do they, why are they creeping in the story? What did you put a check next to? A top. A top? I see a few more. Goldfinch. Goldfinch. Um, what do you think a goldfinch is? The fish. An animal. Let's just not circle that. Right. Spread. That's a new word. We're not going to circle that. Right. I see one in the first sentence. Journey. Yes. What's the journey? Chip. Chip. Uh, how about, do you know adventure? Yes. Yeah. Going on a journey. I saw a trip. Going on a trip. I saw the movie Sammy on the road. Oh, and they used that word? Now circle it and write adventure. You're gonna start. Oh, let's let someone else. Uh, Lila. Do you think that's a good one to circle? Yeah. Me too. Circle it. Tell your friend what you circled. Tell us, Max and Carl, what did you put a check next to? I a pair. Tell her. Yeah. Here what? I a pair. Until. Till means until. Till means until. Okay. And Lila. Which one do you have, Lila? Cried means to shout, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Now look through all the words by yourself. Then we're going to tell Biol what the story's about.
you remember remember all our words? Yes. Pot, Pot belly. Not on that one. Oh. Try to remember what happened so you can tell Bill. Remember divide and equal? Okay. First, can you tell us about the two bears? They are two greedy and they are babies. Yes. And argue every time. Yes. What about their belly, Carl? They pop. What's what's the word? Pop belly. Pop right. Belly. Yeah. Pop belly. Okay. Belly. And yeah. they're greedy. What do they want? Tell us about the cheese and use divide and equal. Those are new words. Fiola mm. already knows those. Wow, she's so smart. They want to divide the pe the cheese because we divide the pizza. The fox is Sill. What's that word? S L Y. Sill tricky. Tricky. What does S? How do you say S L Y? Sly. Okay. And he. Tr Three, four, or five. Enough to make a. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's mm, night. Almost. Five to five. Nathan and Nana and Poppy are sitting in the. Grass. Here, this one's for Mackin. A goldfish lights atop a spread of Queen's Anne. Four, three, two, one. No. A goldfish lights atop a spread of Queen's Anne. Queen. Lace. That's a hard one. Over here, this one's for Yul. A monarch butterfly wings. Mm and mm. In and out. Ooh. Over here for Lila. Deep in the pond, the bullfrogs. Mm. Good night. Good night. Deep in the pond, the bullfrogs. Mm. Good night. Good night. Croak. Ooh, croak. Carl. He creeped down the... Ooh, how about, how about creep across? Across the bridge. Across the yard. Close. Did they say across the yard or across the good good? Garden. Grass. Was it grass or yard? Grass. Here, Lila, you find it. I think it's at the beginning. Man, when his dad are there. Creep across. Okay, now we have beacon. Now here's the fireflies. The fireflies are out. What do we do? Which one do we do here? Cut. I'm going to say cups. Sorry. Nathan cups. What? What does he cup? Hands. He cups his hands to. Creep across the lawn. Dorothy was right. Nice. So which one do we do here? Cups. He cups his hands tightly. Tightly. 
Poppy says, cup your hands tightly. All right. Now, Nathan catches one, two, three, and then four and five. And the bee comes. The butterfly is his beacon in the jar. Close. To make a beacon in the night. A beacon in the night. Yeah. What is a beacon in Me, the night? Shiny. What is it in the we story? Can, we can see it far away. But in the story, what is it? Light. The jar becomes a beacon in the night. Okay, and then tiptoe at the very end, Nathan goes to sleep. And Pop and Poppy tiptoe out the room. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Please, Nana, let's go in and get the jar. It's almost night. Ready? Okay, we're starting. Ready? One, two, three. Please, Nana. Let's go in the jar. It's almost night. We have to wait. We have to wait. Their feet. Okay, they don't want to, but Carl gets the thumbs up. Now, tell them what happens, Biol and Lila. Li wait, they need to listen first. Listen. Okay, go. Okay, oh, he waits. Now we need the word shake. Get it, Max. Give it to Max. Now, when Max brings the word, then you shake your foot, okay? Or you shake your leg. Okay, now go find, tell them what happens next. What does Nathan ask? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? One, two, ready, go. Where are the fireflies? They are going to be here soon. Pull on his sleeve. Where are the fireflies? Where are the fireflies? They're going to be soon. They're be soon. Okay, good. Turn the page. Listen. Tell us what happens. You have your, is it cupped? No, no, I want to see it blinking on and off. No, no, I want to see it blinking, blinking and off. But it's too late. Careful. I know Careful. Like this. Okay. Make the promise. I will. And then the garbage came. It comes up. It comes up. Here's the test I gave them. Uh, before talking about this, it's important to mention that with these younger students, in fact, the younger they are, the more informal evaluations that you'll do. Informal means, uh, for example, teacher observations. Um, and then the older they get, the more formal the evaluations are, meaning written evaluations, written tests with, if it's a writing assignment with a rubric with this, 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 and this uh, checked. Um, another informal evaluation would be a 
checklist. Did they do this? Yes, check. Did they do this? Yes. Did I see them do this in class? And the reason for that is if you take this story, which they can read four times in ten minutes, compared to the next class you'll see reading, in six classes they'll get through the story maybe three times. So I've got a lot of observation on these kids as to whether or not they understand the story and can they use the language. So that's the reason for the informals. But this is a more formal one. I just uh, gave them the sentence from the book, slightly altered with the word missing, just like the word games, but the sentence from the book was slightly altered. Um, and he got a 7 out of 10. I just picked 10 of the words. And then this here is, we were short on time, <coughs> unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, I just had them write as many sentences as they had time to do uh, of their own sentences. So uh, for example, tugs. I tugs my mom's shirt to buy snake. So uh, that tells me he knows what the word means and he can pretty much use it in the sentence. Uh, this person got a 10 and wrote three sentences. I might have them write a couple more sentences in the days to come and just add it to their little uh, record there. But, uh, for this one, I think the, the sentence from the book was, when night came on, your daddy and me, your papa too, would creep across the lawn. <coughs> and I said something like, creep across something else. But I put creep and across together. So this is the formal evaluation.